I watched the first three episodes of The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses, and the title of the show is almost longer than the list of things I have to say about it. That's not to say it's a bad anime, just an unremarkable one that doesn't evoke a lot of discussion. My largest praise for this show is the animation style. Putting 2D characters into 3D environments is not something I see done well very often. While some episode one-shots in particular could look a little bit janky, most of them blended beautifully. As a result, Glasses is an undeniably gorgeous show to look at, and I can't remember the last time a show was aesthetically pleasing enough for me to comment on it. My biggest criticism of the show so far is the to-be-expected contrivance issue. Can no one write a grounded romantic slice of life without making stuff happen for the sake of it? I knew this was going to be an issue when Komara was able to convince his teacher that Mia wasn't sleeping. No really, she just needs to be that close to her book to read it without her glasses. Don't worry about the fact that she's not responded to you at all, or the fact that she's not even facing downwards. Oh, Komara meowed so that Mia wouldn't know she was trying to pat a plastic bag? Good thing she has zero directional hearing and won't realise that the meow is coming from the wrong direction. Just how bad is Mia's eyesight without glasses? In episode 2 she can recognise Komara as he walks up to her, but in the aforementioned cat scene, it takes her a moment to recognise him when they're inches apart. I wouldn't harp, but these contrivances aren't even in service of anything. At least the magic engineers were mildly plot relevant. The rest of my notes are a lot closer to the centre of the positive to negative spectrum. I am getting tired of the trope where anime characters get flustered over minor things, but it's fairly inoffensive in this show. I like that Mie acknowledges her close bond with Komara, but it isn't substantial enough for me to believe that this won't be a they get together at the end if you're lucky kind of show. I like that Mia is oblivious to the flustered thought process of our protagonist, and even the expectations of her classmates. I sure hope they don't pull an angel next door and turn back on that characterization in a few episodes. I was a little worried about the framing of the stories early on. Geez, I thought to myself in episode 1, is this poor girl really going to be without her glasses for every story? And sure, that is mostly the case, but it hasn't gone stale like I thought it would. While not every story is a winner, the duds are spread out enough that you never get too many in a row. I never checked how long an episode had left like I did with Kubo-san, or even wished for a scene to end already like I did with Tonikawa. While the girl I like forgot her glasses doesn't have anything exciting or thought-provoking, it also doesn't contain anything overly tedious or problematic. It's a completely inoffensive, middle-of-the-road rom-com slice of life. From ice cold to red hot, I give it a rating of lukewarm. I'll probably keep watching this one to see if it goes anywhere. I'd like to thank my patrons, Orion Tran, Data52, Jamman5, Pixcalibur, Tyler Bennett, Tamka, Jeremy Bashik, Fireclaw, Christopher Wang, Luke Stewart, Swiss Cage, Gerald, John Lowe, Dustin Rubin, The Blue Crystal 770, and Garen. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.